After our marketing department has supplied a project brief, product development basically begins with the definition of the basic shape of the object to be developed. As activities develop, we go through dimensional study phases to help define the minimum volumes necessary for the product to meet the characteristics and standards required. This process takes us through to the final definition of a zero aesthetic volume, with carefully designed surfaces and some substantial elements inherent to the mechanisms required during briefing. Product volume dimensions are also evaluated, namely a study is carried out, in this case with 2D designs on the product dimensions, in order to obtain correct responses in terms of shock absorption, as this is, of course, the main aim of the product we develop. Another activity then begins, and one which is just as relevant during product development. This concerns the function of mechanisms, ventilation devices or other such components included in the helmet. This phase starts with initial concepts, drafts of the mechanisms that are then gradually developed through the milling within our other equipment of different alternative solutions for the same product, here with a visor mechanism. We then move on to a subsequent design phase using CAD and the development of stereolithography models of the component in order to verify the mechanism's function. Finally, we design the details of the components, develop the molds and set up the component to be produced.